The finale is almost here, and I don't know about y'all, but I have stocked myself well up on Kleenexes. With the way that episode 5 went, I can't really see us getting that much of a sweet finale. It's mostly gonna be bitter, and I think that the main plotline of episode 6 is gonna consist of John versus Daenerys, or the dragon versus the wolf. In this video, I do want to discuss what will happen between John and Daenerys, but also, more importantly, who will sit the Iron Throne. Now, as always, I will be mentioning a few leaks in this video that are meant to be taken with a grain of salt and are more or less for entertainment purposes, but here's your sign and let's begin. Now, before we get started, please, do me a favor and slap a like on this video. The like is going to be 5,420. <laughs> also, make sure you're subscribed, and then make sure you have your notifications turned on, so that way you get alerted every single time I drop a video. Long nights. Now, the first thing that I need to discuss before we discuss the line of succession and maybe who will potentially sit the Iron Throne in the end is, is Sansa versus Daenerys. Like, I know I said it was Jon versus Daenerys, but I think Jon will ultimately bend the knee to whatever Daenerys wants him to do. The problem is, is Sansa's not going to do that. I'm pretty sure the episode or the, one of the opening scenes will consist of Jon speaking with Daenerys. Daenerys will be like, look, I know what I've done was terrible. In, in her mind, she's likely going to say that it had to be done. She had no other choice but to keep the people in line using fear, and she used her dragon for that. And I don't want the, this video to turn into another defending Danny thing, but we all have to remember that Targaryens in the past, mainly Aegon the Conqueror, the one person who's credited with coming over and united the Seven Kingdoms, had to take Westeros that similar way. So what we saw Daenerys do was tragic, but what she's capable of doing in the future is going to consist of things that will prevent something like this massacre from ever happening again. Now, like I said before, I think the biggest issue with why Daenerys continued to do what she was doing is because she was filled with rage. If she had been on the ground level and witnessed things through the eyes of Jon Snow and Davos, then she would have stopped her assault immediately. I think a lot of her rationale for burning the entire city is because she didn't know exactly where the scorpions were and she wanted to make it possible for her to get to Cersei without having her last dragon taken out. But that aside, I'm pretty sure the episode will start off with Jon Snow and Daenerys talking about what she did. Daenerys will try to brush it off and then she will begin to question Jon about, you know, where his true intentions and his loyalties lie. And the relationship that she has with Jon moving forward into this last episode, I'm pretty sure is going to be strictly professional. I don't know if he's going to have as much leeway as he did before when he was sleeping with Daenerys now that Jon turned her down. And I'm pretty sure in Jon's eyes, Daenerys will likely be seen as a monster. But as a queen, Queen, she'll want her Warden of the North to go and make sure the North is in line. After Sansa eh, finds out what happened in King's Landing, specifically most likely from Arya, then I doubt that they will be happy with her sitting in King's Landing. I'm pretty sure Sansa will compare her to Cersei and maybe even say she's worse than Cersei because of her dragon. And you know what? I can actually speculate until I'm blue in the face for like the next 20 minutes about what may happen, but you all let me know what you think is going to happen or what Sansa's reaction is going to be when she hears about the news of King's Landing and what Daenerys did. I'm pretty sure Daenerys' plan of wanting to rule by fear will likely be the larger outcome. Sophie Turner was spotted filming in the location where they shoot for King's Landing, and more importantly, the Dragon Pit, which is supposed to be where Tyrion's massive trial will take place with almost every single character that's still alive in the show. But hopefully Sansa will learn what Daenerys did, and this will make her sort of snuss out any sort of betrayal that she was thinking she may do when wanting to put Jon Snow on the Iron Throne, because technically he's the rightful heir in her eyes. The thing is, if Daenerys continues continues down this path and she does in fact execute Tyrion, then that will be the second closest advisor that Jon Snow has witnessed her kill. Not only that, he also just saw her slaughter thousands of innocents in King's Landing. If Sansa does try to unconvince Jon of their loyalties with Daenerys or maybe just to sort of break ties, then it won't be that hard. If Jon doesn't already see Daenerys as a monster, then her killing Tyrion the same way that she killed Varus would for sure make him see her in a different light. We have to remember that Tyrion was the one who arguably set Jon Jon Snow on the path that he put him on. He told Jon Snow, don't be ashamed to be a bastard. Wear that on your sleeve so that it can never be used to harm you. Now, Jon Snow didn't really have that pre-existing relationship with Varys, so I'm pretty sure Tyrion's death will affect him a little bit more. We do have to remember that Varys told Jon that, you know, when a Targaryen is born, a coin is flipped. We know where your coins landed, where is Daenerys' is landed. Those words are gonna ring in Jon Snow's mind, I'm pretty sure, all throughout this last episode. But one thing we have to just sort of step back from and, and put the shoe on the other foot, so to speak, is that if Jon Snow was given a dragon when he was as mo emotionally as distraught as Daenerys, then he could have done something similar. Remember when Ned Stark died and Jon wanted to ride down south and go and help Rob? Well, if Jon had Rhaegar, I'm pretty sure Jon would have rode down south and burned all of King's Landing. And you're probably like, oh, well, no, 
know, John's pretty level-headed. He wouldn't burn King's Landing, but maybe he would burn Tywin and the Lannister forces. No, John, if the same thing happened to John, he would have flown Rhaegal straight to the Red Keep and, and probably have done the same thing. You gotta remember, Daenerys has not only lost everyone, but also in front of her fucking face. It's one thing to lose someone. It's a completely different thing to lose someone right in front of you and have them brutally murdered right before your eyes. Now, okay, I've gone into rants about why Daenerys is right and why she's wrong in the past three videos, so I'm gonna move forward. Let's talk about the end, who's gonna sit at the Iron Throne. One thing that sticks in everyone's mind is that the last book is going to be called A Dream for Spring. Therefore, the ending of this television series will likely be titled A Dream of Spring. Springtime means lots of things, flowers, babies, and also a new beginning. No matter how dark we think this final episode may be, going into it is, yeah, that's, that's what the show's famous for. They let us, lead us rather, into thinking the worst possible thing is gonna happen and then something different happens. They love subverting tropes and they also love keeping us on edge. So if they had brought us into this next episode thinking that John and Daenerys are gonna reconcile within the first hour of the episode and then the ending will be their wedding, but one thing I feel like in my opinion is sort of safe to say for this last episode and if I'm wrong, well then I'm wrong, maybe Daenerys will definitely not sit the Iron Throne. Now, I'm not saying she's gonna die, but maybe the actions that she took will make it so that the people close to her won't really feel comfortable with putting her on the Iron Throne. Oh wait, everyone that was close to her is pretty much dead. The only person left alive is Grey Worm and I'm pretty sure he wants fire and blood for all of the Seven Kingdoms. Luckily, there's still Jon Snow. Maybe Jon will tell her, hey look, you saw what the Iron Throne made you do. You killed thousands of innocents. This quest that you have for the Iron Throne has made you lose everything and you've actually lost yourself in the process. Hopefully Jon is able to convince her to lay down the, the uh, actual, you know, wanting to sit the Iron Throne. If not, then she'll likely have to die if Jon is forced to choose between her and his family. Or I guess I should say for the love of Daenerys or for the love of the people. Jon always chooses the greater good. And the reason why I want to sort of negate Jon and Daenerys sitting on the Iron Throne is because this whole series has been making Jon Snow the most important person. If he lives, you know, he's made it to the last episode, we think he's going to sit the Iron Throne. Maybe they subvert that trope. Jon has already said thousands of times that he doesn't want the Iron Throne and will likely try to pass it to the next person in line that's not him or Daenerys. And that would be Tyrion or Bran or Sansa. If Tyrion does how survive till the end of this episode or just survives whatever fury Daenerys is going to release on him since he let his brother lose from her captivity, I'm pretty sure he's going to have a lot to face up for. But if he does somehow survive that, then maybe Jon will suggest the idea that him and Sansa get married and sort of just hold the throne until Jon and Daenerys' child is of eight. Oh man, no matter what, my mind keeps going back to some sort of alliance being made, some sort of marriage or some sort of child, you know, sitting, just some sort of happy ending, but I, I have to realize that the way that episode 5 ended makes you think that there's going to be a giant war, the dragon versus the wolf. Maybe all of those letters that Vara sent out go around the Seven Kingdoms and the remaining armies actually back themselves behind Jon, and maybe Daenerys is able to get that army from Dorne, the army that she has left, and then also her dragon. Maybe the last episode will literally consist of a war between Jon and Daenerys. I'm just not really how sure or how big of an army Jon will be able to rally. The northern men are pretty much fin finished, and whatever troops that were at Winterfell got sent down with him to King's Landing. I'm really curious if the Knights of the Vale are finally going to actually go back to the Vale, or maybe back to Winterfell since their allegiance does truly lie with Sansa. If her and Tyrion were to get married and then the two of them were to bring their forces together, whatever Lannister soldiers Tyrion is able to, I, I don't know. There's there's really no point in sort of speculating on who's got the biggest army because I, I really can't see the final episode ending in a war. We were told bittersweet and we got so much fucking bitterness from episode 5. This ending has to be all sorts of sweet. Like obviously it's going to hurt some to watch it and we're probably going to cry and all that but ultimately it has to be a sweet ending and judging from what we've gotten so, so far this season you know like pretty much a battle every other episode I don't know if they're gonna do that again in this one if it does come down to the point where there's no talking sense into either side that being John or Daenerys then I see something happening like Arya being the one to execute Daenerys or maybe even Jon Snow just somebody has to wipe her out so that there's no actual battle that ensues and you know just throwing up a quick spoiler warning here but it's likely a load of shit someone actually sent me a plot leak back in January that mentioned that Bran will warg into one of Daenerys' dragons and then use that dragon to destroy not only the army of the dead, but also Daenerys' army. Now, clearly Bran won't be doing that to at least destroy the army of the dead, but there's still the chance that he could maybe do that if he sees that Daenerys is a threat that's coming to destroy Winterfell. Maybe Bran can look into the Weirwood net and see the future that the future of the Seven Kingdoms will not be safe if Daenerys is the one to sit the Iron Throne. And if Bran is to tell Jon this, then that would mean that Jon would do 
whatever he had to to make sure that Daenerys didn't sit the Iron Throne. If that means killing her, then Jon would do it. <sighs> I, I literally just said in like like two minutes ago that I wanted to stop talking about the negative ending, but I keep coming back to it. That just lets you know that this show is in in all of its greatness. It's probably not gonna have as happy of an ending as everyone wants. Like there there's just no way. There's way too many things that are bound to happen that will make this way more bitter than sweet. And you know what? You know doing some further rewatching of this season and just trying to figure out all the foreshadowing for how this will actually end we got to remember at the battle of winterfell Arya was told by melisandre that she would kill someone with green eyes this isn't the first time that melisandre has of course told Arya this she did all the way back in the earlier seasons now when i first watched this scene i was like oh well that's clearly cersei Arya, even at the end of that episode at the beginning of episode four she starts heading down to king's landing to go and kill cersei so in my mind that's what melisandre went she told Arya that she was basically going to kill Cersei. Arya took the same way I did, which was time to kill Cersei. But what ended up happening is that she gets to King's Landing and then turns around and is forced to witness the horrors of Daenerys, someone who she warned Jon not to trust. And when I first witnessed uh, the scene of Arya walking through the streets of King's Landing at the very end of the battle when she sees the white horse, I first interpreted that as uh, she's about to go home. This is the exact same horse that she chose to ride home with the last time she was given the choice to go to King's Landing to kill Cersei or to go home to Winterfell. But I think there's a, something a little bit more to that. Right as Arya is walking the streets of King's Landing and sees all the death and destruction that Daenerys has caused, behold, a pale horse. Death rides a pale horse and there's a really popular theory coming up that this was a direct line of foreshadowing or a direct scene of foreshadowing to Arya taking out Daenerys in the last episode. And what do I have to say to that? Well, as much pain as it brings me, I think it is 100% possible for Arya Stark to kill Daenerys Targaryen in the final episode of Game of Thrones. And if this series does end with the death of Daenerys and Jon can't marry her or the two of them can't sit the Iron Throne, then Jon will definitely not sit the Iron Throne. All right, and with that being said, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could, please slap a like on this video. This like goal is going to be 5,420. <laughs> also, make sure you're subscribed and then make sure you have your notifications turned on so that way you get alerted every single time I drop a video. Long night. Super special shout out to every single person watching and a super special thank you to every single member of my Patreon family over on patreon.com slash Sir Hunts Reviews. I want to thank you all again so, so much for watching. My name's Mark and this has been Sir Hunts Reviews.